Welcome back, everyone. I'm Nick. I'm Andy. And you're watching KFAF. Shout out to our Patreon producer this month, Mohammed Mohammed. We are very excited to welcome back to the show uh, Funhouse's James and Elise Willems. They've decided to join us again to do another beautiful Photoshop creation. So let's just get right into it. Let's jump into it, Nick. James and Elise Willems, ladies and gentlemen. Andy, round of applause for them. <laughs> Andy, I'm not sure how you blackmail or extorted them to come back, but you get a raise, sir. Got Kudos a lot of stuff on him. Got a lot of stuff on him. How um, are you guys doing down in LA right now? We've been having brownouts or whatever. What is oh, it called right. when all uh, the lights uh, go out? Excuse me, I told you that in confidence. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's where yeah, all the lights go out and Elise panics with a fart. <laughs> <laughs> before the show today, we may or may not leave this in. Um, Andy texted me 20 minutes before we were supposed to all go online. I said, I have been waiting to poop for 20 minutes, so I'll be there in 15, and he still hasn't pooped. It's been an hour and a half. That he's oh, did you not get to poop? Andy, I you gotta I go, man. I felt really, really bad because it... I was like, my roommate's been in the shower forever. Like, what, what's this woman doing? But she was actually cleaning the whole shower. Oh, <laughs> she was cleaning everything. Because I walked in there Man. and it smelled immaculate. I was like, oh. And you and only poop in the shower. I was going to say, yeah. she was cleaning the shower and you were about to shit in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andy, do you still have to go? Because you should totally go. Oh, no, I went. I feel fantastic. I feel oh, great. No. Okay. You look slimmer. James and Elise, last time we had you on, um, <laughs> it, it, it felt like the start of the quarantine. It felt like it was a year ago. <laughs> Um, yeah. And we tried to save the film industry. Now, this dang little disease won't go away, right? This dang pandemic sure won't enough. end. And sure we enough. tried creating the number one celebrity that could bring back the masses to the box office, that mm -hmm. could save this film industry, and it just didn't work. And mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I, I don't know if we should blame ourselves for that. No, absolutely not. I certainly don't. I certainly don't. I think we created a gem last time, and we'll, we'll put up the image right here. But um, but this time I I, I, de I decided you know what. Films aren't coming back. Movies are done, but the video game industry is a rocking and a rolling right now, right? People uh -huh. are stuck thirty percent growth year over year. People are stuck at home. Elise is bringing up uh, metrics to this as well. I appreciate <laughs> you bringing those stats. stats. Mm -hmm. And people are at home and they're gaming nonstop. And what's all the rage right now? A little game called Fall Guys. Mm -hmm. This thing, Fall Guys, you can't you, you can't turn around a, ro a room or a wall without seeing a fall guy, right, Nick? I just, I just saw one right now. He, he just, just saw him. Oh. Just saw him. Right <laughs> just saw him. And just so right, right, now, right now, everything on the internet right now is all these brands are trying to compete to get a custom skin. KFC mm -hmm. is trying to compete. We got oh Ninja, gosh. the ultra popular streamer, trying to Never heard trying to get Could in you there. Imagine uh, Trojan condoms are trying to get in there. Everywhere mm -hmm. you can look, all these brands Carrot are trying top. to... This mm -hmm. fucking carrot top guy. Can you believe him? Anyway, so I just so I decided. What if we try to get our own skins in the game? What if we try to somehow make something that could really bring a lot of eyes and ears mm -hmm. to the show that we do here? And Funhouse, mm -hmm. you know, you guys could maybe get some views we're, off of this. I we're here it. to help you. We're Thank here you. to help you. Okay. Thank you. The best show on the internet to really finally get the the due that it's deserved. We're we're a ragtag group, and I feel like you know. Who better than us to make mm -hmm. a custom Fall Guys skin? And I want to go wacky and wild with it. I, I mean, whatever it. ideas we can think of, immediately mm -hmm. I think of Vin Diesel's got to be a part of this somehow. For some reason, and I don't know why, this name keeps popping in my head. Oh, Jesus. Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. I mean, it's a, it's a famous singer actress so that's probably why as it's portrayed by jennifer lopez nope that's just selena i know <laughs> selena gomez andy okay. what were you what were you googling before this andy what's going on here hairy chested men it's just really i mean history. i guess what happens for me is you say selena gomez i obviously think of selena yeah as mm -hmm. portrayed by jennifer lopez i then yes. think edward james Olmos. and what's his defining attribute his voice glasses you're right his thinning hair okay. yes <laughs> <laughs> okay that's exactly. I was thinking Edward James almost stand and deliver thinning. Stand hair. and deliver thinning okay. hair. Yeah, stand and deliver. Right there, Andy, second there one it is. On that one. Yeah, that's it. Right. There. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a good one. Yeah, there's a couple of good ones there. Yeah, we're getting some yeah. good reference here. We're getting some. Great yeah, that's reference. great. Now, if you have never seen Stand and Deliver, it is a phenomenal film. Phenomenal film that He's we are teach about the kids. to denigrate. Think about we have all these parents and these instructors, people as part of the educational system who are having to figure out, having to adapt the situation. How do you teach? kids remotely how do you how do you do home from like from home learning yeah how can we do this it's tough i think this is a great this is inspirational people because you see this and think about the greatest teacher 
on film. The world's ever seen. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, like yeah. Robin Williams, Dead Poet Society. I think of I think of that. Michelle Pfeiffer, Dangerous Minds. Whoopi Goldberg, Sister Act Two. Samuel L. Jackson from What Eight Seven. Mark Dacascos, Only the Strong. Oh, oh my you- God, what a great oh. movie, James. One of my <laughs> favorites. Are That's we just making time. Edward James almost from Santa to Deliver? Like, are we gonna? I mean, it depends on how much how much you guys truly want to integrate different elements to try and ensure. Because some of the thing is when you put all your eggs in one basket, and believe me, the Stand and Deliver basket is about as safe an investment as one can make, right? <laughs> like, if I could take everything in my retirement fund and put it in a money market devoted entirely to stand and deliver, I yeah. would. Uh-huh. But, uh... I'm just concerned because I do think that a lot of these companies are trying to get skins. They're resting on big IPs. Mm-hmm. But we've got the biggest stand and deliver. <laughs> That stands to deliver has a kind of name recognition today that you might think well, it does. Ki- Love if, it. If we didn't, if we didn't do entirely Edward James almost, <laughs> right? We could do Edward James almost. Almost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we're working. Really now good. we're working. This is this is where the money is made. Everybody. Uh-huh. This is what yep. a lot of the audience doesn't get to see when they're just off their when they're on the internet searching through TikTok mm-hmm. and stuff. They don't get to see. How the no. sausage gets made, and right now it is it is being made. And yeah. I, yes, I did use the one with the watermarks. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, that's how he wants to be remembered. <laughs> how does how does a Lammy's stock photo have the rights to a still from a film? They, they don't. <laughs> they do not. I also want to put it out there that I've never. This is the first time where I've referenced only the strong, and someone around me has actually said, "Oh my gosh!" I love that. Movie. I know what you're referring to. Oh. Not even. I love what you're referring to. Oh, oh, Andy said he loved it. I mean, yeah. Like, I uh, believe me when I say this, James. Whenever it'd be a hot summer afternoon, mm-hmm. there's no school, and mm-hmm. I'm living in the Rio Grande Valley with, and it's my brother and I, and we just had home because our parents are at work, and mm-hmm. only the strong comes on, and we are trying to Eddie Gordo banana way. We're yep. trying to do. Yeah. We're trying to zoom, do the zoom. moves and do zoom, the break zoom. Dances. You're trying to do your rimba or whatever. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! It's the coolest. Nick, you, have you never seen Only the Strong? The Capoeira movie? Yeah, yeah. I've seen yeah. Only the Strong. Okay, sure. Right. There was. A, you have to understand, guys, that so in the good. '80s and '90s, if there was a movie about a new martial arts, I had. To, <laughs> I was my friend. I was the friend in the group that knew the martial arts. A stuff. new martial. <laughs> I'm. I, I was a. I'm the only person. I'm the only person that I'm aware of. That when Eddie Gordo was introduced to Tekken, I was like, wow, they got someone to do the only the strong martial art. Yes. <laughs> yep. I was like, what are you talking about? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I try to like, I felt like I was the, the hipster there with martial arts. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, guys, this is from a movie called Only the Strong. Like, yeah. you should check it out. It's really good. It's, it'll be on HBO every day on Tuesday at 2 p.m. Yep. You know? yep. Yep. <laughs> they, had a, they had one from Batman that they were like, we love this for a fighting style. And it was basically Batman fighting with his elbows, but just doing mm. this the entire time fighting. Oh, I remember that's a good core this up. The, um, uh, I believe you're thinking of the Presidio where John Sean Connery fights with his thumb, and then after that. he says, "You're lucky I didn't use my left" or whatever he yep, says. That's that. I love it. We've had a lot of obscure references on our podcast before, mostly coming from me. This takes mm-hmm. the cake. Presidio only the strong reference. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> we've had a, uh, a, a Edward James almost from Stand and Deliver. Mm-hmm. And now we've had a Presidio reference. I don't think mm-hmm. people have. I haven't thought of the movie Presidio. <laughs> How could you like not? You live. You're lost. You live in San Francisco. You're lost. How could you not think I of need, I, every I, time I, I visited? <laughs> as I'm flying in to SFO, I go. The there's the Presidio. And if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, mm-hmm. um, I'm just too busy watching Summer School over and over again. That is my oh, okay. preferred Mark. That's your Mark Harmon. Gotcha. Yeah, I understand. That's where I like to be with I don't even know what the f- I don't even Thank know you. what that movie is. All right, where where are we at with our model? Okay. Here? Okay, we right. Have so we got the hair. <laughs> we got the hair. <laughs> it's very, very typical for, for the Fall Guys character to sort of have a face mm-hmm. cut out. Do we want to gotcha. use that at all? Do we just want to go Edward James almost eyes right here what, what are we thinking like nose can we, can mouth we, can we see what it looks like with edward james almost is, is edifice his, on that just his face back there yeah do we okay. also want to stand and deliver edward james almost or do we want to pull from a different like era? my like a, also the my, battle yeah, star galactica that's kind of my instinct is 
you know, do we want to just limit ourselves to one Edward James almost? Do we want to grab his best features from over the decades? Do we want the best pair of glasses? Mm -hmm. Do we want the best mustache? Because, yeah. I mean, the glasses from Selena. Say Selena that. glasses it, it, for it, sure are the best. The Selena can you, glasses. Hold on. Can you pull it also from the same watermark site that's just pulling pictures of Edward James almost and then putting watermarks on them? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. I am loving this. I'm just gonna. I'm not. I'm gonna keep the eyes under there. Yeah, keep the eyes in. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm keeping the eyes. I don't plan uh -huh. on losing that feature. He makes look fun at, of himself more look than look at Edward James it's, almost. It's look great. At, What's he looking at? What's like, he thinking about? <laughs> Oh my God! We're... Well, now, what, what are we going to put behind this, though? What are we going to put as the faceplate behind, or do we just keep the, the faceplate? I mean, um, I kind of like that he's wearing a pair of glasses that have Edward James almost. <laughs> the eyes on them. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I really do enjoy that. What was the movie starring Jeff Spinkman that introduced Kempo into the world, where he would like punch people really fast and like hit people with sticks? Do you remember that? <sighs> I. It's a movie called The Perfect Weapon. Do you remember the that movie? Perfect first? Weapon. I de think it may have come on. That sounds more like a Cinemax film, to Definitely. be honest with you. Like a star than an HBO. Maybe. It was yeah. right around the time of Hard Target, or not Hard Target, Hard to Kill, mm -hmm. when yep. Steven Seagal was coming up. Man, my dad had all, every Steven Seagal movie recorded on VHS. Like, he was just all about him, dude. It was wild. Have you seen anything lately with Steven Seagal in it? No. I feel like he doesn't even stand in his movies anymore. He has a clause in his contract that he only has to stand 1% of the time <laughs> during the action movie. And he asks, he'll ask, how many elbows can I break in this one? I'm just the cook. So it's going to be tough, Steven, because we established earlier in the film that you are a police officer. I'm just so the cook. So if you have the line in there now, the audience might get a little confused. Are you okay with losing the line just this once? I'm just the cook. All right, we'll keep it in. Andy, have you have you seen Hard to Kill? Uh, have you seen Seagal uh, I mean, I've yeah. seen like I've seen Hard to Kill. I've seen the fucking submarine one. I think uh, Under Siege. Just, uh, under Siege. Under Siege. I've seen. Mm -hmm. But but aren't they all like they all sort of sound like Call of Duty games? In Hard to Kill, mm -hmm. Steven Seagal wakes up from a coma. Yeah. And wants to get revenge on the people who put him there. That makes sense. How did he end up in the coma? He was shot with a shotgun in the chest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah. The scene that we just always would replay, um, I'm not sure if it was from Hard to Kill or Above the Law or Average. I, every three word movie, Mark for Death, On Deadly Ground, The Glimmer Man, <laughs> everything is three words, Half Past Dead, is the, is the one where uh, where uh, there's like two, there's two Mexican dudes coming at him. And he's like, uh, and this guy has this little knife and he's like, I'm gonna fucking cut your heart out, I say. And it cuts to Steven Seagal and he's like, come and come on out. You wanna come out? Come and come out. Come and come out. Well, come and cut my heart out. Come and cut my heart out. I think with all this chatter about Steven Seagal, like, yeah. Lord knows I just wanna make this a, an Edward James almost exclusive to. To, mm -hmm. play, to PlayStation, you know, like you can only yeah. get it on this oh. platform. That makes sense. Yeah, the Sony it. audience is definitely yeah. the stand and deliver audience. Now, no Andy, you're you're hovering over this amazing picture of Edward I, James almost, where he love. has a phenomenal mustache yeah. and a mullet. Mm -hmm. Is it is it going to be weird if he has a mullet despite having thinning hair? I okay. may or may not be in that exact same position right now. <laughs> uh, so are we keeping the mustache? Is the mustache? Yeah, I think, both. I think mustache. I think yeah. Now what and I've loved, what I like here, Andy, is that you've, tone, you know? you've actually used the negative space in between the mustache and his eyes to create mm -hmm. the nose. That's mm -hmm. very impressive. It also presumes that his nose ends somewhere about the middle <laughs> of his eyes. Um, let's We're, let's change the background because I, I feel like that, I don't want him to get lost in the background. You know what I mean? I think this yellow is a little you. too. I think the yellow is a little bit too could blinding. It, we need a could, starker contrast. Could yeah. the could the background perhaps be that? large rodeo arena where Selena performs. You're, that's that's perfect, yeah, let's see here. Nick, the movie does this weird thing where during the concert it does like this weird sort of double <laughs> shot of her on the sides and stuff. It's a really weird video effect. Well, I don't know why Andy, they thought it was a good idea. <laughs> because when you've got Jennifer Lopez there, you, you want to see more of her. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on la flor! And like the bass is like kind of pumping up. Sand and deliver. He's always wearing the grandpa pants that are up on his, like yep. un, right underneath Highway, his nipples. Yep. 
Yep. So if we can put a, a, pair of, a the, tall pair of pants. You don't think Battlestar yeah. has uniform? And Do we put him in the Battlestar uniform? <laughs> and it, but it's tucked into really high yeah. pants. Tall pants. Yes. The one with the watermark is pretty good, and he, that's right there. I think we've been, have, we've been having watermark. so much good oh, luck with is. the watermark. It's a signature. Oh, yeah, also, can we use the one, the signed one? Yeah, we got to use a signed one. We got to use a signed one. You're right. Of course. That makes our character more valuable. People will pay more money for this. He signed his whole name and his character's whole name. Let me ask you this question. If you get you mm -hmm. get cast in the next Battlestar Galactica, mm -hmm. yep. and someone goes, hey, can I have your autograph? And you go, mm -hmm. oh, great. Are you a fan of the show? And they go, no, I know you from Funhouse. Do you still sign your whole name and Starbuck underneath it? Fuck I only you, like, sign I only sign for the things that, that I want to be promoting or known for. So I might even I might even write, sign it and then sign Sex Wing Ripper. I write K I write that one episode of KFAS. <laughs> oh nice. Yeah, yeah. On everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah RTX absolutely. 2021. You want to do a KFAF panel? We'll be. Oh, we'll do it. Of course. Yes. Oh my god. Of course. Deal. I just want to talk your about different shoes. Approach here. I'm just He's, sort of. I'm just it looks sort of like it. <laughs> yeah, it kind of matches. I'm realizing that maybe the perspective of the jacket you picked isn't right because the buttons are on the far side. Like, yeah. it's clearly not lined. But up, no, no, no. But, but it's also it's it's a jacket that has the really long over. It does. It's like double breasted. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's a double. -breasted. It's sort of similar to a Star Trek. Jacket I mean, but we're gonna be tucking them into the pants anyway. Yeah, That's true. We, That's true. Yeah. Fuck, I forgot about the pants. <laughs> I forgot. Man, I feel like just high waisted grandpa pants. Is yeah, all really, just or just pants that you can make high waist. That you don't even have to do. You I mean, don't need them to true. be. We can just pants find Edward James almost like in Kylo pants. Like Kylo Ren, pants you know. Pants. Kylo Ren's got those high. Yeah, pants. we don't really. Andy, you're looking hard here for the pants. Just any pants, really. Pants. <laughs> yeah, pants dockers. are only as high as you in make them. Dockers. Pants. Like any of those <laughs> pants. Like a men's dress pants. Any any of those pants would work. Yeah, and that just, that's the first one looks great. I feel like these are the that. perfect shade of blue. Don't like the color. I don't like. Really? The, I, want, like I want them to be oh, like shit. a Dockers, like Dockers, high high waisted Dockers. Oh, I love the image of this. What if we just do okay. a color change? That's fine. Love it. Great. Yeah, because I, I love fine. the resolution and, and vibe of this. <laughs> I forgot how it was really looking. <laughs> <look at. laughs> every the time worlds, I Andy. every time I come back, I just I'm, I'm always just kind of surprised and happy, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, oh, yeah. something we also definitely have to do is create a hashtag for this so people can tweet it at the Fall Guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. sure. To, I mean, I feel like the hashtag the should be Edward James almost. Hashtag almost, maybe? I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I love the I almost. Mean, that's great. I mean, we should do we, but we have to figure out because this is ultimately designed to promote you guys, right? This is know. your way to get the promotion. So that's true, we Nick. Need to figure that's true. out some sort of way to integrate you guys into this. What if it was hashtag Elise rocks, hashtag almost? Does that yeah, work? I mean, I mean no. we want people to use it, Nick. How hashtag KF, work? What about <laughs> what about K, hashtag KFAF? K, K, KF all guys. KF all guys. KF like, fall guys? KF or just KF all guys? KFAF. Fall, uh, guys. <laughs> look at these little Almost. pants. Look at, a, look at the pants. <laughs> <laughs> look at how the cute they are. Oh. <laughs> That's it right there, baby. Yeah, what I need to do is really extend these parts. Yeah, I feel those like are the parts seeing, that really work. I feel like seeing the crotch seam is really important. Mm -hmm. Huge, um, hugely important, yeah. Because mm -hmm. the crotch then, is what good. sells it as being a high-waisted pant. If the but crotch then, is narrow, then it's never going to sell if it's, too, if it's too small. We get to the issue where the legs are just so <laughs> They're just tiny. So, so, yeah, here, let me, let me pitch yeah. something to you, Andy. Andy, let me <laughs> pitch you something. Again, I don't want to tell you how to do your job. Yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, du no, no, duplicate no. the layer. Mm -hmm. Create a, a crotch, like a lower waist layer that is just the pants wrapped just, around the body. And then it's almost as though the legs at the size you need them shoot out from the bottom. I love that. I love that. I love that. Yeah, a little higher. There we go. Yeah, there I think go. you can even a little go higher. higher. A little higher. A little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, a little higher. higher. Yeah. You can go higher. Yeah. You can go higher. Let's see. Let's get the suit out of the suits, creating um, a lot of uh, interference look, here. Yeah, look at that. That's good. Andy, can I make? Can I make a request? Sure. Can we? Can we pull? Man, your it chin? looks like him. <laughs> this <laughs> looks <laughs> like Kevin <laughs> That's almost, perfect. Man. <laughs> can, can we? Can we pull the the bottom uh, circle of his chin out so it looks like the faceplate is sticking out from the clothes? And oh, maybe like add a little a drop, a little dropy. Oh, that. see, I had the faceplate cover. I, I purposely made made okay. it seem like it was covering. Because I mean, I could but do that. No Don't get me wrong. I mean, can, if you think I, of the shape of it, it, right, it would be pulled in. But we could see what it looks like. Let's see. Let's see. You're right. I just I just think it's wow. That was horrifying. 
Yeah, because I have the face here, and it, it was covering it like that, and so I essentially okay. kind of had. Yeah, it you're right. You're right. Obscure, you're right. almost like a, like a cowboy bebop sort of detective. You know, can you go back in and, and can, there's a couple of spots where the Selena concert still showing through his lower chin. Can we <laughs> can we go in and just double it check? It sure that? is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I feel like the concert in, I feel like the concert's inside all of us, you know. Nick, Nick, what if I told you that at this concert there was a, a young woman against a fence? And okay. the whole premise of this concert is that it's kind of dangerous, Nick. There's too many people at this Selena concert and it's, things are getting hyped up as fuck. And she's mm -hmm. up there performing on stage and the stage starts rocking, Nick, and starts mm -hmm. like almost falling down. And there's a little girl who gets pushed up against the stage and she's like almost suffocated to death. What does Selena and then do? They have to pull her off stage. Then what does she do? She saves the day with song. She does. Doesn't yeah, she, she go does. out there and she calms them down? The she same thing happened to me at RTX. Same thing yeah. happened to Elise at RTX. Selena saved Elise. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You said bigger mustache, Elise? Yeah, Elise I'm said bigger curious. mustache. I'm curious. I'm just curious okay. how. We can, we can try it on. Now, can, the coat looks like it's still a little off with the face down there. Like, I feel like there's more coat <laughs> behind it? that. Right there, that, that little lip right there. It's, there because, it? it's because I think we're looking at the side of the coat. <laughs> <laughs> Notice how you can only observe one pocket. Yeah, oh, I, see, I, see. I, I, I warped it because it, I warped it so oddly. What is that little uh, doohickey? What is that little yeah, dinker? What's that? The donker, it's that's annoying, annoying, right? Should I just get rid take of it? Take it out. Take it out, brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me show you its full face. Oh, no, never mind. I deleted the rest of it. I deleted the rest of it. No, no, yeah, we can, we can, we can do we can delete this little doohick. Do it's really annoying. It's really yeah. annoying. Go. That's going to be better for me. And take out the... Uh, can you see... I don't think we need to see the other shoulder either. I think that would have been hidden by the chest. That's true. Crazy. Great point. It'd be, great it'd point. be behind, yeah. These are all great points. This is why I need a team kind of working as a long side. Right there, yeah. Uh, right Elise, right. Been, oh, Elise and I have been watching uh, Into the Unknown, which is the Frozen 2, making a Frozen 2 documentary. Oh, fun. And Never all saw the Frozen 2, but... Well, we started it. We didn't finish it. Mm -hmm. But um, the, the documentary is really interesting, and it shows how all these people, artists and and stuff work together to create even the, just the most the shortest shot the shortest and sequence just yeah so one many storyboard shot art, board artists so hard directors and, and i feel like we're doing that mm -hmm. here right the now exact with this. same thing it's this mm -hmm. collaborative effort to just you know it seems like nothing but that shoulder is something and by really important putting it the back process. there it's gonna be really important i don't know about you but i don't not want an academy award oh no i, yeah. I think i think it 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 is apropos that we would win an Academy <laughs> Award. I mean, I for think this. this is at least a streamy. Every time, like, I, I gotta tell you guys, it's it's sort of like that movie magic thing where, where you're watching, uh, you know, me as an up and coming artist, effects guy, I really wanted to do like CG and all this stuff, and I was constantly fascinated by. You know, they would show you uh, co cool composition shots. Here's this little person in a green screen, and then suddenly a, a, they add a skyscraper, and it's sort of like the breakdown of what they do to create mm -hmm. and compose this scene. And me just adding and making the mustache and glasses <laughs> visible, I'm getting that same feeling here. <laughs> like I'm oh, like, yeah. wow, it is coming together. This is you really start something. From nothing. Yeah, Andy, you build can you give me world building? Can you give me a little uh, drop shadow on the top layer of the pants so we can get a little depth with those bottom layer pants? Sure thing. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. And then that's thing number one. Thing number two is, and this stays between us, so don't tell anyone this. I actually nominated the last episode we did of KFAF for a streamy. And in the description, I said, this is the best episode we've ever done. <laughs> and James and Elise are not normally on this show. What? Trust did you really? You I did. It. I did. <laughs> so I said, I said this, if you think this is what the show is, it's not. With this episode, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't yeah. know if the people, Andy, I don't know if the people at the streamies have our sense of humor, but I hope <laughs> someone gets a laugh out of that. Yeah. If you love this episode, the rest of the show not like this. <laughs> not like yeah, this. Yeah. I, th I personally, I mean, I think KFAF is an amazing show. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank that you. Means, that means the world to us. It means yeah. the world that you guys uh, want to come back and hang out with us and have some fun. Mm -hmm. And that, I gotta be man. honest with you, it's we're getting better at it. We are. It, Look, you can barely see where the jacket the sleeves and can't see the and seams. begin. Oh, you can't it's see it. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> and look at this button. Look at the yeah. shape yeah. of this <laughs> button. <laughs> that used to be a circle. Yeah. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> uh, now, the pants. Yeah, the can't pants show. definitely, like, you know. Kind of <laughs> 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 can you flick a. Can you turn <laughs> That's dirty. The YouTube algorithm might sort of like pick this up as they something. They might think something. I'm kind of worried about it. Kind of worried. 
he's starting to look, and I mean this with all sincerity, and it's amazing that we did this, a little like a Muppet. And the clothes, like, the, like we're using the real world yeah. clothes as the and texture. The that's really, yeah, and the fupa, that's exactly right. You know, I, I used that term the other day, and my wife was like, what's that mean? You know, I don't, James, I don't know if you ever get this, <clears throat> but when you say something to your wife, mm-hmm. and then she looks at you, expecting the, de- the whatever the definition is of the word to be a 40-year-old word, but oh, okay. instead... A sixteen-year-old word comes out, yeah. and she just she just has that look of disbelief and mm-hmm. utter disapproval and disappointment. Does that ever happen to you? It does happen, but in the opposite direction. Normally, she's the one saying the word. <laughs> Can I just say this, Nick? When you told you when you described your wife what a fupa, did she say thank you? I finally know what to call it. Because that because for me, <laughs> for me, I'm like you know what thank would you. what would I say otherwise? Should we he have it. a pizza for yeah. Selena? Okay, I want pizza. Oh, can here's got what it. here's what I'll say. Got here's it. what I'll say. Can the little stool he's on just be the pizza? Can that be a pizza? can he be standing on a pepperoni pizza? That's wow. brilliant. That's what you guys his daughter are... would want. Man, brilliant. This... Can you wow. can you get rid can you get rid of the rest of the pedestal? Just, yeah, yeah there we go. perfect. <laughs> yeah, and then can great. you do one thing? You guys, let me know how you feel about this motion lines so it's almost like oh, he's, like he's, he's flying, like he's flying across yeah. the frame like oh okay, okay Andy, i okay. love this i know Ooh, that's i have tough. an idea i have an idea i have an idea hold on i have an okay. idea okay great yeah give um, it to us. oh motion blur mm-hmm. here we go motion blur horizontal mm-hmm. wow look at this, this guy wow he's, he's <laughs> flying <laughs> he is speeding through this fucking selena it's concert so fast tell him to slow down Andy. i don't know if there's a blur there's got to be a blur tool let's use a smudge tool Smudge it up. Smudge that pizza Smudge. up. Smudge. Oh, oh, you. So the pizza is blurred. No, no. I was thinking he was flying, right, James? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We want, but we I want, think like, you could probably create the pizza oh. on a second layer and then do yeah, what that's Nick a good, is that's describing. A idea. Like, do what Nick is describing and do the, the smudge. Yeah, and maybe Andy, put a blur just duplicate, on it. Duplicate, duplicate oh, the pizza layer. Go. Oh, this is great. No, you nailed it. I'm sorry. Right. I'll shut <laughs> up. Yeah. You're the artist. Cause here, here. Oh, check this out. Check this out. Yeah, I'm gonna. At least we should, just, we should just shut up. I'm I know. gonna duplicate all this, not... merge it as a group, and what I'm yeah, gonna I'm blur do it. is also add, yeah, add the I'll same sort of motion that. blur. Oh, look at that. He oh. even has like an after image there. Yeah, the camera. Wow. <laughs> look at that, guys. Wow. <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> wow. Oh, can you put? A, can you also? You know, what we need to do. We need to show Fall, fall Guys. This is the player that players are going to play as. He's right at the finish line. Oh, okay, okay. It's tough. Oh, okay, here, this, one, this there we one's go. kind of, That's good. here we go. I'm going to, like, just keep the background out of this. Yeah, yeah, because um, we got to see the concert, right? Yeah. yeah we have to know exactly. he's down to party. Here we go. But I'm like going to, yeah, him, the, the track will be on the bottom. I like to think of our character racing to save that poor girl that was pinned up against the fence. <laughs> but he also, because he's intuitive, realizes that she's hungry and would like a slice of pizza. The Man, pizza. this motion blur is just like it, like Christopher Nolan, eat your heart out, you know? Wow, oh. that's great. This is working. Look at that. I mean, I feel like if anything, if you just rotated him, you know, 15 degrees. So he's like swinging up, right? Yeah. Like he's like oh, gotcha. a plane yeah. taking off. Should, well, should we put the Fall Guys logo on it? Sure. <laughs> so we, yeah. it's official? No, sure. Okay, sure. Sorry. Just in case Sorry. people don't understand. No, no, for. that's that's a great that's a great point at least. That's yeah. That's the sort of like administrative shit we also need help with. Because mm-hmm. I, I things like this, like it's an oversight. I'll forget about it. But brand recognition. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, that branding. Let's, let me take the Steam logo out. It's also available on PlayStation. You know what? Let me add a game let me get a PlayStation 4 logo. <laughs> okay, good night. Uh, nice. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, you might as well. I mean, let people know, because I mean, I, I don't know how you guys feel about this. I'm usually a little bit less cocky than I should be, but I can honestly say 100% this is winning. This is going to be a scam. Uh-huh. It's got to be. So uh-huh. I just, I can't think of any reason why people would stop this mm-hmm. at all. Yeah. Um, aside from the fact that we are blatantly using Edward James almost as uh, image. Look at that. Wow. That's perfect. Wow. That's really right. good, guys. Here's what I'll We're say. Getting- Here's what I will say, though, because I want people, and this is this is what it, I mean, to be honest, this is what it's, when it becomes nice to have friends that have good audiences to collaborate yep. with, I think both of our logos need to be in this as well. I think okay. we need the, the kind of funny smiley, I think we need the Funhouse logo. That's true. Okay. That's true. Yeah, so that people there. know that we collabed on this, because mm-hmm. if you're not collabing, are you really even living? Yeah. I'm just wondering, like, should we put something like this? Mm. You know, on there. The Battlestar. Oh, Battle Star oh yeah, we can no do that too. How about all, all the lo- Yeah, we could put all three logos. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. And I also don't see why we can't put at least one picture of Hard to Kill 
like the poster for Hard to Kill right. in the background. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? I don't see why not. If we're gonna put stuff in the background, let's just put. Because my thing is this, like, right? Shaka mentality. Uh-huh. Someone's gonna see that and go, I don't have a touchstone for Edward James almost. I've mm-hmm. never heard of Fall Guys. I don't know what a PS4 is or a Steam is, but I yeah. do remember the seminal Steam it's a golf film, Hard to Kill. That's hard mm-hmm. to kill. They go, that's that's hard to kill. But I know that's, that's hard to kill. I yeah, get so. it. Maybe I'll buy Fall Guys for a hundred dollars now because mm-hmm. I like Hard to Kill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just type in yeah, Hard to Kill poster. Right. And if you, uh-huh. if you, by the way, if you wind up getting a Hard Target poster, I'm okay with that too. Mm-hmm. Hard to Kill mm-hmm. poster. There he is. That's a pretty there good one right there. That's he's great. hard to yeah, kill. That's great. You I tried. Really tried See, he's, he's saying you tried to kill me, yeah. but it was too difficult. Good. Yeah, it was, it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> try again harder. About, try harder next time. Yeah. First off, this is uh, someone definitely photoshopped this. Second off. Um, I like the name. I love. I always like this title, James, because he's not impossible to kill. We're not being no, unreasonable no. here. No, no, no. no. <laughs> There's some tough. difficulty uh, involved, <laughs> Andy, but it's not impossible. It's not. Do like I put un- it on the track? Un- well, I was. I was picturing him like over Edward James Almost's left shoulder. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I just, like. Fair. I was thinking like on the pole, like as if it's a, oh. as if it's like a band poster oh, that you sure. see on the street. You I know? don't know why, but I pictured it having some blur on it, so it looks like it's out of focus. It was in flying the with him. Maybe there's a fan <laughs> in the audience who came to see Selena and brought their hard to kill poster. They're holding it up, <laughs> and you just kind of you go, boom! I see it as as. <laughs> like it's, it's Eddie's more like by. it's like an Easter egg, yeah. right? Okay, got it, got it, got it. Uh, I mean, the time period matches up, so. Here we go, mm-hmm. here we go. Yeah, you guys are absolutely right. Um, yeah, let me let me put it behind. Just like out in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, just like exactly. out in the crowd. <laughs> like it's a wrestling exactly. match. Yeah. yeah, it's great. And then and then a little motion blur. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A we'll little bit, yeah, there you go. motion blur 100%. on there. Yeah, that's perfect. Yes. Can I, and I, again, I don't want to, you know, obviously we don't have all day. But can I oh, maybe suggest, do. can I just make a quick suggestion? Yeah, sure. Maybe the hands that are holding it up are the Popeye forearm gloves from the live action Popeye film. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Wow. We're which is a, a which is a reference, which is a reference to the character we had created before. Mm-hmm. Maybe this character was in the crowd. In the crowd. At the Selena concert. That it's got funny a you say rowdy. that. It's funny you say that because I got it right here. And Perfect. I could easily, I could grab whoever's arm this was and the Popeye arm, and we Perfect. could just easily in- integrate this. Now, and just our character fun... was there. Man, I mean, like, here's the thing: I thought we were done 30 <laughs> minutes ago, and it just kept getting better. Because like, there's, there's more. There's always more details. That's there's the thing. There's always, always more, more details. You could do. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There's always more. Look at this fan. Look at this fan out in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> with, the ske- <laughs> with the sketches. Yeah. <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> <laughs> They're the big shoes. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, this is what are we doing? This is great. Drop that bad boy. Drop that beat. There we go. There we go. There. Oh yeah. yeah. Now don't worry about the fact that his arm is now twisted 180 degrees the wrong way. <laughs> From the forearm, it's okay. <laughs> Look, it's I mean, natural. we cre- we created this uh, being to be really flexible and just you know mm-hmm. in any any situation. We don't need a stuntman. That was a big I part of this. That was, that was gonna say. Well, yeah. Remember, like, we talked about how much we all love Tom Cruise and Mission Impossible. This mm-hmm. our character has to do their own stunts. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> this is great. Let's see. This is so great. It's <laughs> really, really That's big. That's such fan a huge of- poster. That is like an out, out exterior movie theater poster. It really uh, is. Hanging in the halls. Great. It really is. It is Hold great. On. Hold on, Look at Edward's here. little face. It's so cute. Mm-hmm. But he's, he's again, he's laser focused on getting that, that little win. girl out. Oh. Oh, right. Let's see here. Andy, I, just, I love you, but it's perfect. I don't know what you're doing. Arm yeah. tilt, too. Oh, because, yeah. yeah, when I hold stuff, I hold it like this. Yeah, you hold the poster. <laughs> Everyone knows you hold posters. <laughs> Pixar type. Exactly. And I forgot about the puppet tool, guys. We're learning stuff here. This is great. This is great. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that's a puppet. Wow. Okay. That's great. Hold on. Yeah, that's really good. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I hold stuff. <laughs> I got it. It's not. Don't uh, worry. It's not going anywhere. Oh, uh, it's so good. Wow. You, guys, you gotta lock it down on both sides, otherwise it could tilt. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't think we could top ourselves, but <laughs> I think we, we did. did. Like I really we do. did too. Here we go. Yeah. A little I bit of mo- just, just a tiny bit of motion. Just a not, smidge, not a whole yeah, lot. Just a not smidge. a whole no, lot. You're too much. Don't do too much. 
Don't do too much. Tasteful. Now. That's, I think yeah, that's, that's perfect. Nice. Like, that's that nice. is. This that's is. Something you can like special. just make it out. You're like ah, oh, hard to kill. I like I like the idea that if we do this again, and I hope that we get a chance to, because I've mm-hmm. thoroughly enjoyed this, that all of these characters have to work their way into the next one, including oh, yeah. the Fall Guys logo, <laughs> all of our logos, Everything. and Selena. Yeah, yeah. it's Everything one, it's one big shared universe. At the end of the day, you I know. believe it is. Um, More but, the merrier, I always say. Yeah, Why not exactly. just pack everything in there? Let me, um, like a Zack Snyder film. We're going to get a bunch of logos. And uh, we said the Battlestar Galactic logo, right? Yeah, the BSG mm-hmm. logo, yeah. Is it like a symbol or, or a... Okay. Yeah, it's right there. There it is. Like a crest of some sort, I guess. Um, it's a phoenix. Yeah, this is a good one. Oh, yeah, this is a really nice high-res image. Let's put this can, in there. Can Let's I say... Do we, so do we want that just as a logo flop on there? Or can we maybe... You know, and if you're not into it, it's okay. James, what what about any of this has told you that I am not down for any of this? Yeah. <laughs> like, I just want to make sure <laughs> everyone's down. But it implies like a tattoo, a tattoo on his hand mm. that is kind of cut off by his sleeve, implying that his entire body is covered tattoo. in tattoos from things yeah. that he's been in. This is coming together really good. Um, let me just. That's gonna look so good coming over the finish line. You know, person holding the hard to kill t- uh, sign is gonna be like, look at that. PSG tattoo, you know. Yeah, reaching, <laughs> reaching for the crown. Yeah, with that hand. Wow, cool. it, look at this. again. It makes you wonder what's peeking out <laughs> on the other side that we just can't see. Look at this, everybody. It really does. It leaves you wanting more. This is special. special. This is something really special that we've come here and created together. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I think that's it. I don't think it can possibly get any better than this. Please. Uh, welcome to the stage for the first time in Fall Guys, Edward James Almost. And wow. we're really excited for all of you to be able to play as Edward James Almost in Fall Guys. Two nights this, this on game. PlayStation and Steam. Simultaneously now, on right PlayStation. Now. Right now. If you're watching this, log on. You can play as this, this character. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, James and Lise, for joining us. We couldn't do this without you. I oh, feel like it. I feel like it really takes you know a lot of the best minds on the internet to come together and create something like this. Uh, Thanks. Yeah, and me. Thank you for joining us, guys. Uh, James and Lise, where can people find you? Funhouse every damn day. Every damn day. You can also find us on Twitter at James Willems and Elise Willems. Willems, and YouTube.com/slash James Willems stuff. We're gonna be doing trivia with them soon. Yeah, you think uh, so? We're gonna have you guys on trivia, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, we've said it now, and we can't possibly edit that out. Can't so take it back. Yes. We're, we're do- yeah. Let's we're do it. Want to see this skin in the game? Tweet at Fall Guys Game the hashtag K F A F F H Fall Guys Edward James Olmos to make your voices heard. Well, there you go. I mean, I think that. Edward James almost is going to rock this world. Nick, the video game community has been taken by storm and we've been put on the map. People know who we are now, they're talking. They're saying, let's get these guys involved more, right? Let's get these views up. Maybe we'll hit 22K on this episode. What do you think? I'm gonna say this, Andy, and I say this knowing a lot about the industry and being what a lot of people say, uh, a lot of people refer to me as an industry insider, so I feel fully confident saying this. I would not be surprised if Epic Games right now was working on an Edward James Almost Battle Royale. Who can it be sitting on its side? Does she have brown hair? Or maybe it is white. Is he skinny or is he fat? I think it's Mark. Or maybe it is Pat. Who can it be now? Here's the thing. I tried to get out of this this week. I really did. You, you tried your that we hardest. Can't. I tried so hard to get out of this. Yeah. I was like, Andy, with the show so long, I can't. We can't do the rest of this. And you said, Nick, we cannot. We can push the Photoshop challenge to next week. But people love my song for Guess Who so much that we have to do this episode, or we have to do it on this episode. Mm-hmm. Now, the reason I wanted to push is because let's look at my board real quick. And this is how many people I have up, and now let's take a look at how many people you have up. There's just... (laughs) 
I like this area view. Try to get this little tilt down view because it. Give it a little tilt. Uh, yeah, tilt it towards the camera because it is astounding, Nick. I asked if the person has a hat. You asked me if the person has brown eyes. Brown eyes. That's right. That's what it was. We probably and shouldn't apparently do that. The eye color question anymore. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. there's only um, four people who don't have <laughs> brown eyes. <laughs> Which it, I guess maybe I mean maybe they went out statistically and looked at everyone in the world and were like, hey, everyone pretty much has brown eyes with the exception of the small portion. So yeah. I guess it's accurate. It's but, pretty accurate. Um, so I yes. get to go first now. I get to go first okay. and guess who your who is. Um, okay. Let's see here. You know what? Oh, you're gonna take a guess. I think I'm just gonna risk Are it. Gonna and guess? I think I'm gonna risk it and go for it, Nick. You have because a one in chance. Because I'm I'm horny and I'm excited and I'm cocky. The, here, the, the punishment, if you remember, Nick, if you guess incorrectly, mm -hmm. you skip a turn. And I kind of want to help you out a bit here. Okay. I kind of want to help you okay. out a bit. Because if I guess incorrectly, then you get to go twice in a row, and I, and I miss a whole turn. So I'm going to guess that your person is Katie. Katie mm -hmm. is... Not the name. Fuck! Of person, Shit! Andy. Damn Not it! Not the name of my. So person. there goes Katie, everybody. Bam! Bye, Katie. <sighs> Damn it! So I miss a whole turn next time. It's all good. You miss a whole turn next it's okay. time. It's now, okay. It's okay. Now I get to ask questions, right? Yeah. Great. I'm looking at um, your person right now. I'm looking looking at this person right now. Okay. Um. Let me think. Would your is your person gonna vote Democrat? In the next election. Yes, 100%. Definitely not voting Republican. Okay. Down you go. All right. Um, and I get one more vote, right? Yes, you one get one. Vote. You get one more. You get one okay. more. I get one more question, right? It's unfortunate. One more question. Yeah. Okay. You get a, you get a bonus your... question because I guess incorrectly. All right. So I'm, I'm going to try to get a little bit more specific because this is still not helping me out here, Andy. Okay. Yeah. Um, does your uh, person work in tech? You're never going to win asking questions like this, but sure, I'll entertain it. Uh, yes, they look like they work in tech. Okay. Well, I mean, I think you're <laughs> vastly underestimating the power of my question here. Andy. No I mean, way. Yeah, I got a lot of them here. A lot of them here. No so I'm just going to go... Way. Yeah, I mean, I gotta be honest with you, Andy. I just you think you got, got it? Left. Who is I it? I think I got it, brother. Is your person Joseph? No. If that's the you gotta reset the board, dude. <laughs> if that's the only person you have left, what are you doing? You're never gonna win this game asking questions like that. <laughs> you gotta reset the board, dude. <laughs> you gotta reset the board. <laughs> What was the first question? Is your person wearing a hat? <laughs> oh man! Just re just reset it, dude. So I'll just I'll pull it back to where we were. Square one, Andy. Just, square God one. Damn, this is you're awful. I mean, you take you you shoot your shot. Sometimes you got to shoot your shot. I mean, both of them airballed. I don't know what you're doing. Just shake it out. We'll just, just we'll just shake, shake it out. out. Yeah, remove over. everybody that doesn't have a hat or whatever the hell your stupid question was. Who can it be now? 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 Uh, all right, Andy. Well, that's it for who can it be now. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the show is very, very long. We're going to actually just go ahead and do the Photoshop challenge that was uh, Kevin and his dog. We're going to do that next week, uh, or the next episode that we do, which is in two weeks. Uh, but until then, of course, that gives you a little bit more time if you want to tweet your submissions at KF, or excuse me, at Kind of Funny Vids with the hashtag KFAF. Don't tweet them at me and Andy. Remember, if you go to kindoffunny.com slash KevDog, you can see the photo that is the inspiration for next week's Photoshop challenge. Have at it. Recreate it if you want. Have fun with it. Stay PG if you can. If not, blur out the the lovely bits. Understand. Um, yeah, and, we understand any nudity that might be involved. Yeah. Until next week, I've been Nick. I've been Andy. And you've just been AF'd. <laughs>